Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we will be going to Brands Hatch and uh, we're going to take some photos which is going to be fabulous. Now I was there yesterday and I called up my friends Ryan and Tom and we had fantastic weather and today we have rain forecast and as you can probably see out that window it's not looking all too promising. I ended up taking a few photos yesterday which I will feature in this video. I better get myself sorted. I've got my, yeah, I've got my new bag down here, my Vanguard one. That's what I'm going to be taking with me. So that's going to be good. I'm taking just my 100 or 400 a day and my 1.4 ton extender. And uh, yeah, just taking what I need and leaving my 16 to 35 here because I don't need it. making our way to um, Brands Hatch. Um, but on my way, I'm gonna go to the services, get myself some nibbles and food. Yeah, and get the tunes going, let the car warm up because it's very cold this morning. What is it, it's six degrees. Yeah, this is my car. If you haven't seen it already, this is my uh, Ford Focus Sora. Um, a very big car, very long, no reversing camera as, as what I can tell anyway. It's a nice car to drive, good on fuel. We're getting about 60 mpg, which is nice. Just let the car warm up and get my GPS on because I do not really know where I'm going. running for a little bit, get everything that I need. All of that food, it was 12 quid. Just what I thought, you know, yesterday it was quiet, but today is much busier. It wasn't like this yesterday. You can take me there Let's see if we can get to South Bank like we did yesterday. It's £10 today, but it's definitely going to be worth it. Get a bit closer. It's going to be a pain in extra team, but I don't know if I'll be here all day today. We'll see. I don't have any cash because I tried to get cash out yesterday and it was far too expensive. It was going to be like, I think £14 in fees. I can only pay by card or transfer money across. It's lovely out here. I love it here. I love being back here. You know, it's so good. As I said, I don't miss motorsports photography. I, I've got different things that I thoroughly enjoy more, like landscapes, so seascapes, long exposures, why not? So this is nice. It's good to make up, break up the norm but it's definitely not something I'm gonna put a load of money into. I could put money into, but for me, I can't do anymore. And physically, I can't do anymore. Still waiting. And uh, yeah, 10 pounds. Oh, I've got a, a ticket, where's my ticket? Shit. Oh, there it is. My ticket for today. Oh, sorry. Sorry, my friend. I think that's the one you want. Yeah, and I've got to pay for yeah, Okay, cool, thank you. 10 pounds to park today? Yes. No worry, no problem. 
Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I definitely couldn't live with one of these cars. But yeah, this is where I used to park when I was official media nine years ago. Right, sort of under this area, I have my Peli case in it. Hopefully they don't mind me parking here. I can always move on later. And I'll get my food and put it in the back. In Australia, you can't get plastic bags anymore from shops. Here, you can still get them because they, they recycle them or it goes in the incinerator. Australia, it goes in landfill. That noise though, perfect, perfection. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go outside here actually. It's called Sterling's if you can hear me. Yeah, I'll go over there. I'll probably leave my camera and stuff in here. Just take what I need. Because I'm so central and, you know, it's secure here anyway. 100, 400. Polarizer, put that on just in case. I can always take it off, it's nice and easy. Monopod. Another thing I like about this versus before is I don't have a media pass on my car, so it doesn't show that I've got camera gear in my car. Actually, I'll bring my 1.4 with me. Put that in my pocket. Not too cold today, only 8 degrees. I'm getting used to it already. There's a few people already there. Always good to see, I love it. People getting out with their cameras. Yeah, I'll work around them.
the beast again. John. It's the guy oh, John. How are you doing? Good oh, to meet you. That's one way of doing it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's F8. F8? Yeah. You can see through. If there was a bit more light on the fence, you know, if there was direct sunlight, yeah. then yeah, it would show up white, but thankfully we don't have that. See, I'm going to put a polarizer on just to get rid of the glare. That means my ISO is 640. I'll probably go 800, 160, 160th. Just playing it safer at the moment. They're releasing them recently for 500 pound a month. Wow. At least local had them for 499 pound a month. Oh, So now I'm back and I'm just going to move my car over towards Droids because I'm not going to be coming back here and it makes sense to have the car near where I am. But yeah, I've just had um, some really bad pain um, in my chest here again. So it's um, just related all to my back and it's really, really painful. It's uh, slowly easing but I've got some pain meds with me so I'm going to take some of those, have a bit of food, take them and then about half an hour after they should start to take effect. I'm freezing cold, I hope it doesn't rain because then I'm definitely not shooting anymore. I don't have any gloves with me, I forgot to get gloves. I feel stupid for that. My hands are pretty cool. What is the temperature actually? Let's see. It's 10 degrees today. In this area on this grass, I just want to do a handbrake turn, but you can't do a handbrake turn on something that's got a electronic handbrake. I'm gonna move the car over now and catch up with Ryan again, who you have seen, and uh, Tom as well. It's been great chatting with uh, someone who used to work in the media and talking about about it all. I'd never want to be a media again, really. I never want to do photography for a job, you know, when it comes to motorsports photography, because it's not just taking photos at the event, it's everything else. It's so much more work and so much more pressure if you struggle with photography as it is, you know, shooting as a spectator and you find that hard work, you're definitely going to struggle shooting professionally and shooting for the media because there's added pressures, you've got to be there earlier to sign in on everything. I think I used to get to like the track at seven. Um, you'd get a feed, you'd get all your gear sorted. Yeah, then go around, take the paddock shots. Just crossing here now. It's very tight and I'm not going to pressure on anyone. These people have got much of the right to be here as me. Park somewhere nice and safe. Somewhere where I'm not going to get boxed in. I'm going to park a bit further down. There's Tom getting his gear out of his camera bag. I don't know where I'll go around here. Oh there's um, right in his uh, Honda Civic Type R. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know where to park. I just go next to them. All oh, right, might turn around then. I'm gonna go over here to this Audi A4 by the look of it. I keep forgetting I'm not an off-roader. I feel like, oh yeah, I can go here. I can go here, it's actually all right. Put the electric handbrake on. Nothing feels more manly than putting an electric handbrake on. <laughs> I just feel like I'm pressing buttons. It's stupid. Now to just relax, have some, be have some lunch. Sit in the back here, I think. Oh, Waitrose. Nice egg sandwich. Can't go wrong with an egg sandwich.
Okay, so now we've moved into the field away from the spectator point, and this allows me to actually get the spectators included in the photographs. Now for these photos, we are doing a long exposure. I'm talking like half a second to even slower. So this allows me to really sort of, you know, give this really artistic look to the scene and really slow it down and also basically use my camera as a paintbrush to give the strokes, to give those, capture those colors while the car is passing by. So yeah, the focal length for these can be anywhere from 150 mil to 250, 300 mil. And with the tree, it really made it for quite an interesting thing because it adjusted the exposure by about two stops. So you've got quite a bright scene and then you get the tree and then it just drops it down really dark, which I quite like. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy these photos that I capture on this area. leading up to this we've been shooting at around a 20th of a second now this isn't uh, slow in my books um in most people's books it is considered slow this was just more of a test to see how the camera was going to work because i was having to pre-focus on parts of the track because when i was panning and using autofocus it would actually switch between the car and then it would lock onto a person which is not what we wanted so i had to pre-focus onto the area of the track that i wanted to shoot from and then wait for the car to line up in that area and then take my series of photographs. So also what I'm doing here is I'm also chimping, uh, which is basically looking at the back of the camera, making sure my focus is on point, making sure my settings are on point and making sure that I'm actually getting the way that I want to go when it comes to re using really slow shutter speeds, which is that like half a second to even slower than that, which is where the artistic standpoint comes into play and it can get some really cool and funky looks as you'll see coming up. Okay, so things are about to get serious now. We are grabbing out our free stop ND filter, which will allow me to really reduce the amount of light coming through that lens. Now, what I would normally otherwise do if I didn't have my filters is I would stop down my lens to say F16, F22, or even smaller. But since we're fortunate enough to have our filters, I've opted to use the filters instead. It's going to give me a much cleaner and sharper result than stopping down my lens, which can sometimes cause diffraction, which is basically a softening of the image. And that is not what I wanted. <laughs>
I think I'm gonna have to call it for today. I can't grip much with my right hand. When I'm holding my monopod and I'm holding it upside down with my camera on it, which isn't that heavy, I can't hold it. It just slides slowly with my hands. So I think I've overdone it. And now I'm just gonna try and see if I can find Tom and Ryan, if they're gonna be on their phone. I've got all the shots I need for this video. And I'm happy with what I've achieved, so. Yeah. Now relax. Soon I'll head off. No, I've done this before, I've done it many times. It's nothing really new to me. But it's been good fun. I enjoyed it, but yeah. I can't really, that's the size I can burn my hand and it's not really that tight. I wouldn't be able to squish a ball or a tennis ball. It's that week at the moment, I just can't. By the way, there will be more photos at the end of this, so don't stop watching right now. Enjoy, I hope you enjoy them. It's been fun doing it, a lot of work. But, yeah, it's been fun. Now to do some more landscape photography, which I thoroughly enjoy. So much more relaxing. This has been fun, it gets the adrenaline going, but landscape photography has a different place in my heart for me. So, yeah. Anyway, enjoy, and I will see all of you in the next one. Okay, bye for now, everyone. For 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turned back again It's kind of funny that the more we pass time The more we need to set the rewind And 19 was the year I had to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you Is this really happening? I can't be too sure But one day I'll be yours again Life lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven Something from nothing I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter You gave me the soul I had today Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed yeah. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you
dozen The other eleven get something from nothing I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter You gave me the soul I have today Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed Yeah Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you Is this really happening? Life changes just open the door One thing's certain, I'll always yeah. be gone.